it's true. We abuse, there's no meaning, there's no ruhaniya, there's no, there's no love in it. And now we, he talks about this and he says, do zikr slowly. When you say subhanallah, feel subhanallah. When you say alhamdulillah, it means alhamdulillah, you're feeling it, you're not thinking. Baby, you can call me a superman. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your boy Jesse Keegan. And you go Fanny Lungo. And we are Fun and Jesse. So right about now we're gonna do another reaction. And this one right here was suggested by a lot of people. And they suggested that we should go react to when you say Al Alhamdulillah, feel Alhamdulillah. So uh without any further ado guys, let's get it. See it from my own life. I'm giving you my mistakes and experiences. I've been Muslim for 14 years and I will be dealing with apostates and some of them will come back to Islam. I'll be dealing with non-Muslims and, and they'll come to Islam and I'll give them an answer that is so convincing but when I'm giving it, I'm not convinced. <laughs> and I'll be thinking to myself, I just gave him a really good answer but I, I, I'm, I'm feeling something here, what's going on? And for me, I realized it had nothing to do with the intellectual answer. It was to do with what was going on here. I neglected dhikr for months. Neglected dua for months. You neglect your sunnah for months. These are things that protect your heart. These are things that protect your heart, brothers and sisters. The sunnah, the tahajjud, the reading of the Quran are things that protect your heart. If you neglect them, then your protection of your heart is gone. And you have a very thin shield, right? My own experience as someone who deals with this on a daily basis, travels the world and deals with people with doubts and deals with people who are apostates. I've seen this within me, within me that I have doubted, not because my mind was in doubt or I doubted Allah's existence or the fact that He deserved worship, but there was something awful going on here. That's the point. And wallahi, 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 you maintain your dhikr in the morning and the evening, sincerely, as best as you can, your doubts are gone. My own experience, I'm not saying I maintain dhikr all the time, okay? May Allah pro protect me from, from, from nifaq. But I've seen it from my experience who engages on the front line on these ideas. I would speak the haq, but sometimes my heart would be a bit wavering. What's, I'd be thinking, what's going on? And I always realized, you idiot Hamza, you're destroying your own soul. Where is your dhikr in the morning? Where are you going to Fajr in the morning in the Masjid? Where is your dhikr in the evening? Where is your dhikr doing it sincerely and properly? Sometimes we abuse dhikr. Read the book from An-Nawawi in Kitab al -Afkar. Read it. We you know sometimes after Salah we're like Subhanallah, 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 I call this AK-47 dhikr. Yeah, it's true. We abuse, there's no meaning, there's no ruhaniya, there's no, there's no love in it. And now we, he talks about this and he says, do zikr slowly. When you say subhanallah, feel subhanallah. When you say alhamdulillah, it means alhamdulillah, you're feeling it. You're not thinking, alhamdulillah, oh man, what a terrible life. Alhamdulillah, oh, I've got no blessings. Alham you know, do you see my point? We say one thing, we're feeling another thing. Try and get your state of being in with those words. Try your best. And do it with ihsan, do it with excellence, do it, with, do it properly. You could do it walking as well, you know, sometimes we have to go back to work, do it on the way. SubhanAllah, 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 you know, glory be to Allah, transcendent is Allah, Alhamdulillah. You know, the other du'as, Raditu billahi rabban, wa bi islami deenan, wa bi muhammadin sallallahu alayhi wa sallam I am content with Allah as my Lord, with Islam as my religion, with the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as my Prophet, you know. Bismillahi alladhi la yudurru ma asmihi shay'un fil ardi wa la fi samai wa husam al-alim. Right? In the name of Allah, with whose name nothing in the heavens and earth can harm. And believe that's true. All of these du'as are about your, your, your conviction, your iman, your protection. I'm telling you, do it. Maintain it and you see changes. And even the brothers around me see those changes. They could say, Hamza, you need done dhikr for a week. You could just see it in the face. My wife sees it all the time. But she says it a bit more offensively. She says, Shaitan's got you today. <laughs> that's what she says. Shaitan's on your face and, and we have that in code. She knows what she knows. She's like, you haven't been doing a dhikr, you'll be mucking about. You're being a naughty boy, come back. 
and especially if you're living in the West, you're doing dawah, you're involved in this commercialism, you're involved in the globalized culture, because even the Qatar of the West now, you know, Ahlan Ahlan West is here, 2022, yeah? They're, they're going to be on your doorstep drinking and prostitutes are going to come, whether you like it or not, they're going to fly in, that's what they do, fly in prostitutes, they do it, it's business, right? <laughs> he just told me, yeah? He did, he told me the car today, that's what happens. Um, <laughs> so the point is, this is going to happen, protect your heart, maintain the dhikr, and, 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 I, and I believe if you do this, and I've seen it, you know, here's the proof. I had a question, I answered it, but I wasn't convinced here, but I was convinced there. When I started doing my dhikr again, I was convinced here and I was convinced there. Well, I, honestly, absolutely, I'm giving you my experience and I put my heart on the table for you, because I love you. Protect your heart. That's it. Ninety percent of the doubts are spiritual. Honestly, even just reading the Quran, even if you don't know the meaning, you don't understand Arabic, just read it. It's still a shifa for you. It's a shifa. It's a healing. Just read it. Just read it. You know. And I even noticed this. You know, sometimes when I read the Quran, I'm more like more timely with my isha. Right? If I don't read the Quran that day, I get a bit lazy. Yeah, I'll push it a bit more. And I've got work to do. You know. And you just see these. Correlations, spiritual correlations between what you do and what happens to your life. And you just learn from experience. So please, brothers and sisters, Wallahi, maintain, protect your heart. You know, most of doubts are based on spiritual issues. distracted even by the smallest of things mm -hmm. sometimes you feel like let me just say some some people find that when they forget to pray a lot of things go wrong in their lives but when they pray everything is straightforward he made a certain point what was his main point let me get back to that there's a point you said like um, even if you don't know how to read Arabic when you just read um, the Quran, I mean, when you just read it, even without understanding, that's that's already a healing. I mean, that's I mean that meant a lot, but uh, you need to understand something for you to to actually um, you need to read for you to understand the information that is passed through. No, but from what you were saying. I feel like you were saying sometimes um, you can find healing in maybe things that you love to do. Yeah. For some, it's reading the Quran and mm -hmm. find peace. Now you find peace. Some may pray. For you, you may find peace in music, mm -hmm. in novels, in your work, whatever it mm -hmm. is. But he referred to the Quran. Like that's why you can really find whatever you're looking for. It can help restore your faith and everything else. Yeah. I mean, the information was just clear out. I mean, it was just clear. Um, the fact that you can read the Quran um, and get the healing or maybe find peace in it. I mean, isn't that what everybody wants? But to some extent, you know, um, people feel lazy to do certain things. Especially when it comes to maybe reading the Quran, reading the Bible, and all these type of things, I think it's uh, I think it's just laziness or maybe procrastination or something. Because you just have to put your discipline all together and just read all these things to to uh, probably understand and um, 
follow the teachings in your daily life or something. You have to understand and practice at the same time. Yeah, understand and practice. What I like is that um, most of them, they, they actually practice it. And I like the fact that... Think so? Yeah, you know, I kind of think that the reason as to why these people are, um, are successful or something like that, like most of them, I think it's because of the discipline and uh, maybe praying and manifesting for what they want. If they can pray five times, imagine you're repeating the same thing five times. It's easy for you to mani no. like it's easy for you to manifest anything. What do you think? Because you're focused. Yeah, because you're focused, and it's a hundred percent true. Because imagine if you're not praying or manifesting like every day. Maybe you do it. Okay, once is also awesome. it's not bad, but look at these people like five times a day. Come on. I mean, what is it that you'll never achieve or never get through your manifestation? But that doesn't mean person. they also don't lose focus. Yeah, exactly. Once in a while, you find yourself. Yeah, I mean, some lose focus. I know a lot of them that lose focus. Okay, it just depends with your your consistency and your mind and all this type of thing. Overall, the video had a nice message and, of course, simple to understand. Yeah. It was just a uh, surface match, right? I mean, it's, you can easily understand what was passed on. Yeah, I mean... It's just reminding you not to forget the important things in life. Yep, very, very important. When you wake up in the morning, make sure to thank... Um, the creator. Your creator. When you sleep in the evening, make sure you thank your creator. Manifest the things that you want to do, that you want to get for do tomorrow in the morning. I mean, all these things should be practiced. Anyway, guys, if you feel like we've reacted to this video in a better way, just give us a thumbs up and don't forget to go down our comment section and tell us exactly what you feel about our reaction and what do you feel about um, this video right here when you say Alhamdulillah, uh, you feel Alhamdulillah. What do you think about this video? If you have more information, mm -hmm. just let us know in the comment section below. And according to my knowledge, what does Alhamdulillah mean? Peace upon you. I think it's peace upon you. I have no idea what yeah. it means. What I want to say earlier. When I made my first point was what you think is what you should feel. Sometimes you say he said it in the video. Sometimes you say by mouth you can say I'm blessed, but in your mind, yeah, exactly. So you know, oh, I'm just saying this for the sake of saying it. Yeah, true. You can just say it with your mouth, but inside your mind is not exactly what you say. You get your mind is just thinking of something else. Yeah, so you think get it. it. Just like you can it and act like you're blessed. Yeah. Just like you can be in class, you can be looking at the teacher. teacher I mean, maybe the teacher will be like, "This guy is really concentrating, but your mind is just somewhere else, like far away." The same thing, like it normally happens. You can be praying at the same time, your mind is not there. I mean, all these things, you just have to be. You have to align your thoughts with your your um, speech or whatever thing that you're trying to say. That's the better way. I mean, it's really, really important. And the most important thing guys, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, the more you keep on subscribing, the more you give us the motivation to do a lot of videos and to give you better, better content. And uh, thank you for everybody who've been giving us this reaction to the real estate MVP. If you have more reaction guys, just don't forget, just go down in the comment section, just let us know and we're gonna do it for you. And we wanna get you 10,000 subscribers and at this rate that we are going, trust me, we're gonna get to 10,000 in two days. Thank you so much guys and we'll see you in the next video and peace out. Thank you.